Located in the southeastern corner of Washington State, the Tri-Cities are comprised of Kennewick, Pasco, and Richland. Despite troubles in the national economy, this region has continued to see growth and prosperity against the odds. One reason is the impact of Hanford. The Hanford site is home to a massive cleanup effort and is the area's largest employer. But to most, Hanford remains a reminder of the Cold War and the infamous Manhattan Project. In 2009, public tours were made available and the popularity of the tours were overwhelming with eager citizens signing up in droves. We'll have to pick up some more people that are coming. The first series of tours were at full capacity within minutes of being made available to the public and soon more dates were added. Our guide today, Michelle Gerber, a historian on the Hanford site and author of the book On the Home Front, The Cold War Legacy of the Hanford Nuclear Site. She talks about the tour and what people can expect on their visit. Well, there's two types of tours going on right now at the B reactor. They get two hours in the reactor and then they are bused back to town. And that is um, very popular. We have people calling literally from all over the world. And then for about five years, we've been having site-wide tours where B Reactor is one stop on the tour. And people are also very enthused about that. Um, there are long waiting lists. There are people that are very disappointed because the slots fill up very fast, but we encourage them to keep trying. That school was an absolute palace. Some folks have traveled across the country and even globe to catch a glimpse into this unique slice of American history. As we absorb the views, Michelle narrates the history beginnings of the landscape we're seeing and the significance behind it. There were three very tiny towns, Richland, White Bluffs, and Hanford. And the government took control of those towns and moved out the residents. Hanford and White Bluffs then were just emptied. Today, only remnants of old buildings stand as reminders of these communities and a peek into the lives of the people that once called this area home. Our first stop on the tour is at a water testing facility where a representative from CH2M Hill talks about the testing efforts being made on regional water supplies. The uh, Columbia River here is, uh, is the only stretch in the United States that is free flowing and what that means is it's also the only stretch of the river in the United States where salmon breed. At Hanford today, no nuclear materials of any kind are made. That's all been stopped for 20 years. What we do at Hanford is clean up, clean up the remnants of the buildings, the waste, the byproducts of all the years of production. We also do research and development, and we do historic preservation because we do have this terribly historic facility. Probably the most anticipated stop on the tour is the visit to the historic B Reactor, designated a landmark in 1976. Today, B Reactor has been nominated for the National Register of Historic Places. B Reactor is the first full-size nuclear reactor in the world. The first one large enough to actually produce anything. B Reactor made the material in the Nagasaki weapon that ended World War II, and also the material in the world's first nuclear explosion, the Trinity bomb test in 1945. The reactor um, is the signature facility of the Manhattan Project. Upon entering B reactor, you'll see photos from the pre-Hanford days and the construction period while B reactor was built. The facility has been kept to maintain the historic integrity of the time period with several artifacts from the reactor's operational days. You walk into this building and you walk into the 1940s.
At the heart of the reactor is your visit to the core. And then they walk into this grand front room and it is the front face of the core of B reactor. It's five stories tall. It's a very large room and most people are overwhelmed. They've, they've never seen anything like it. If you'd like to learn about the tour dates and availability, visit www.hanford.gov. Well, a tour will tell you something about who each of us is as Americans. It, it speaks to what kind of a people built this place. It's an engineering marvel.